Autopilot. Why did Guangzhou dare to hand its downtown to AI drivers? Why is China overtaking in autonomous driving while the West still hits the brakes? Would you ride in a car without a driver? What if the steering wheel turns itself, the brakes engage automatically, and the car even reroutes during traffic jams? Would you dare to hop in? If self driving cars are cheaper than ride hailing apps, would you delete Uber in a heartbeat? While Guangzhou's AI drivers have completed 100,000 rides, why is the West still debating whether they should even hit the roads? If these questions pique your curiosity, buckle up, this article will shatter your assumptions about autonomous vehicles. As a tech blogger with 20 years of experience, I've witnessed China's leap from a car manufacturing giant to a smart mobility powerhouse. Guangzhou's latest Black Tech Corridor is tearing open the future of transportation. Short on time. Here's the TLDR. 1. Guangzhou's downtown to airport driverless rides cost less than Uber. Data proof, 76 renminbi per trip, including tolls. 2. Level 4 tech breaks the curse of death, 20 safety redundancies plus 0.1 second breaking. Accident rate, 0. 3. China's autonomous driving commercialization is 3x faster than the West. Market to hit 1.2 trillion renminbi by 2030. The steering wheel revolution, how it's reshaping global rules. 1. Tech deep dive, why level 4 cars are racing through downtown. Guangzhou's autonomous taxis zip down airport highways at 120 km per hour, their rooftop lidars scanning surroundings a million times per second. This system not only dodges food delivery e-bikes but predicts traffic flow three seconds ahead, powered by 5G plus Beidou centimeter-level positioning and 20-layer safety nets. West vs. East U.S. Waymo, after six years in Phoenix, still sticks to suburban fixed routes, Tesla's full self-driving, FSD, faces regulatory heat for frequent errors. China, Guangzhou's robocars navigate the packed streets of Zhujiang New Town, processing 800 gigabytes of daily driving data, equal to 40,000 hours of HD video streaming. Why China leads, Guangzhou's policy sandbox allows high-speed road testing, while the EU's 2024 Autonomous Driving Act forces automakers to assume 100% accident liability, slowing R&D. New Yorkers take. Stuck in Manhattan's Fifth Avenue traffic hell, I read about Guangzhou's AI drivers scanning streets like Times Square Neon, predicting delivery riders' moves three seconds ahead. Meanwhile, our Waymo still circles Arizona deserts. Even worse, NYC's Transit Bureau blocked robocars from Lincoln Tunnel for two years, while Guangzhou greenlit highway tests overnight. The kicker? Their AI processes data equal to scanning 3 million NYC subway riders' faces daily. No wonder Musk tweeted, China's feeding AI monsters with data while we argue about privacy laws. 2. Business Model, From Cash-Burning Labs to Profit Machines Guangzhou's Robotaxi Corridor already operates at 30% gross margin per ride, thanks to a three-cuts, one-boost strategy. Cut costs, 70% saved by axing human drivers. Cut accidents, zero fatigue equals 90% lower insurance. Boost efficiency, 24-7 availability triples vehicle utilization. Global contrast. U.S. Cruise burns $1.20 per kilometer, leading to layoffs. Mercedes L3 tech only works below 60 km per hour. China. Vehicle road cloud integration, e.g., smart traffic lights, slashes costs to 4 cents per kilometer, 0 renminbi and 30 cents. Data punch, a research predicts China's autonomous ride-hailing market will hit 1.2 trillion renminbi by 2030. Translation, 3 out of 10 cars will be driverless. New Yorkers rant. When I heard Guangzhou's robotaxi costs 0 renminbi and 30 cents per kilometer, I nearly spilled my Starbucks.
that's 40% cheaper than my JFK to Wall Street Uber. Even crazier, their AI fleets work 24-7, while our drivers log off at 3 a.m. Meanwhile, Silicon Valley's crews burned $8 billion and got its cars vandalized in SF for freezing at intersections. Guangzhou folks sip morning tea with their savings, while the city installs smart highway lights to save energy. The Wall Street Journal nailed it, China ships milk tea via AI, while we ship VC, bubbles, dot. 3. Geopolitics, Greater Bay Area vs. Silicon Valley, who sets the rules? Inside Xiaomi Zixing's robo-taxis at Baiyun Airport, Chinese chips rival NVIDIA's Orin at one-third the cost. This stems from the Greater Bay Area's 100 km industrial chain, Shenzhen's LiDARs, Guangzhou's auto plants, Dunguan's sensors, West's hurdles. U.S. Tesla FSD relies on high-def maps, but federal mapping rights remain restricted. EU Data localization laws cripple R&D efficiency. China Mixed traffic pilot zones, human plus AI drivers, gathered five years' worth of Western data in one year. Bold prediction, by 2025, Guangzhou will deploy 1,000 autonomous street sweepers, Shenzhen plans to replace 30% of couriers with driverless vans. New Yorker's Epiphany Riding Guangzhou's AI taxi along the Pearl River, I realized, we're losing this race. Their sensors, chips, maps, all, made in China. Tesla's stuck lobbying DC for mapping rights, while California mandates fire extinguishers in robocars, thanks to Hollywood Hill battery fires. Worst of all, Guangzhou enacted laws in 90 days, while NYC Council debated do AI cars need steering wheels, for 18 months. Now their AIs chat in Cantonese, while our lawmakers argue about ethics chips. When the steering wheel vanishes, will your job disappear? The 33 kilometers ride from Canton Tower to Baiyun Airport takes 34 minutes, 6 minutes faster than human drivers. This isn't just tech, it's a geopolitical chess game. Wall Street's existential crisis. Passing the Wall Street bull, I feel mocked, while Guangzhou ships gold via AI trucks, we're still hauling stock codes in horse carriages. Call to action, want to know how AI drivers will reshape your career? Hit that follow button now for my first-hand ride review from Guangzhou. Next week, why Musk says, autonomous licenses are harder to get than nukes. Would you trust your life to an AI driver? Fight it out in the comments.